I know you. It is another episode of The Coaching Corner. By now, you should know who I am unless you live in a cave behind a waterfall. <laughs> We're going to talk about marketing today. I think that the two most important things that an actor does is be a good actor, and we'll discuss what that is in a moment, and marketing. How are you doing with your marketing, guys? Do you know how that works? Do you know what that's all about? It's about packaging. It's about presentation. So when actors are out there and they do their headshots and you're, you're out there trying to promote yourself, are you doing it the right way? One of the things you can ask yourself is, if you were an agent or a manager and you were considering you as a client, would you be able to sell you? Do you think you have the background? Do you think you have the credits necessary for an agent to look at you and say, yeah, I can sell this person? It isn't on your good looks. I wish I could tell you it was, but it's not. It's on whether you're workable, saleable, whether you have the credits, which shows you're a good actor and other people want to use you in their projects, right? So we're going to concentrate more on marketing today and what that's all about. Why not use your Facebook site uh, with projects that you're doing? Are you posting things that you're going to be doing? If you've signed with a new manager, those are the things you should have on Facebook and you should keep that active. The same thing would hold true for Twitter. Anything that you're doing marketing-wise should be about promoting yourself as an actor. Because if you are the manager and agent looking at you, you want to say, I can sell this person. You're always going to be the product. You want to set that up in the way of marketing in an attractive way, in an appealing way. If you went to the store and on the shelf you saw this. <laughs> it's a DVD. This is the packaging. Say, play me. On the back, nothing. Inside, nothing. <laughs> Are you going to want to buy it? No, probably not. Is anyone else going to want to buy it? Probably not. They don't know what it is. Well, that's you if you don't market yourself the right way. That's you. you know, well, I got a headshot. It's your headshot. Well, that's not bad. That's pretty appealing. That's a nice cover. You can consider buying that, right? Headshot. Description. Headshot. Description slash resume. And this has to look like you. Get out of here. <laughs> Selling the product, this is the cover. Ooh, what an attractive cover. Ooh, I want to buy that. Yeah. Turn it over. I know what this is. I know who this product is. I know what this product is. Don't know what this product is. Don't want to buy it. You open it up, though. Got a nice little DVD in there. Then they want to see the work. They want to see the disc. That's you doing an audition. That's you on the set working. It's that simple. Now, I can probably sell this if I'm going to be the agent for that product. Casting directors may want to buy it. Casting directors may want to buy this. Casting directors... It, well... <laughs> A little too serious, Malcolm, who you know from Point Counterpoint, is a very energetic, personable young actor. This headshot doesn't reflect it. So what you put on the cover of your you DVD, you headshot, is what's going to be the most appealing thing to begin with. Okay? So there's your whole marketing strategy. You're the product. The agent manager is the person that's going to sell you. The people that are going to buy you are the producers, directors, and casting directors. So you've really got to be on target with what you do from a marketing standpoint. It's that important. 
And actors who are really diligent in marketing themselves, promoting themselves, packaging themselves, utilizing their Facebook or Twitter or whatever for that purposes, a lot of them work and they work a lot. I can start naming you people that I know personally that work because they do that type of thing all the time. Very diligent about it. The product, you, a good actor. If you're not in a workshop all the time, I've heard this before RJ, it's nothing but self-serving stuff to promote the actor's workshop in North Hollywood and Orange County and all points across the nation. <laughs> no, it's not. It's what I had to do and still do as an actor. It's one of the reasons we started the workshop so that I could work out with other actors. Did you know that? I never wanted to be an acting coach. I wanted to be an actor working out with other actors. And here I am all these years later. Alan Feinstein, a friend of mine and a longtime working actor who's been in a lot of big films and played opposite Diane Keaton. I mean, this guy not only has his own workshop, but he also attends another workshop as an actor. To this day, 40 plus years later, that's how important it is. Actors, I'm going to take six months off, RJ. How can you take six months off from anything if it's your work? You have to work at this all the time, guys. I'm only here to help. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hopeless. See you next week. I'm RJ Adams.